Good morning, Patrick Pop here again, and uh, continuing on with the painting that I was working on earlier. I had added some trees over here on the left hand side, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lighten up this background a little bit. Let's see how this works. Uh, going to I've already mixed up a little light and some blue. I'm just going to add it to the background here. I don't know where that black picked up. But sometimes you have happy little accidents. And we'll work through them and hopefully get things straightened out. Just put this on. Doesn't really matter because you're going to be wiping most of them off. I just wanted to lighten up the background a little bit. I, feel that it had a little too dark. We'll see how this works. Uh, what I did just added uh, some stand oil with gamson, gams oil and made this mixture up here. Now what we will do is we'll take a rag. We want to use a rag instead of a paper towel because paper towel will leave uh, lint deposits from the paper towel behind. And we don't want that on our canvas mixing in with our paint. So we just put this on there, wipe it down. Gives the background a little lighter tint. And these trees I added in. Uh, my camera kept cutting in and out, and I wasn't able to do a smooth, uh, consistent recording so I had to go and delete some things off the account or off the files or however you however you say it whatever you, so I could free up some space Let's see where I want to add a little more here And you can also um, give it like a little misty fog appearance through here. And through here. We'll go back to array. See how that looks there. You might want to take it away. Or maybe thicken that up a little bit with a little more white. So we'll have a little more consistency.
in the color more stamina in the color. Get some more white here. I may have to squeeze out some. May have to anyway. Yeah. And what I'm doing, I'm just uh, going to open up my white put out some more on my paper plate. Actually, it's a styrofoam plate. I use the styrofoam plate instead of an artist palette because sometimes I forget to clean my palette off and scrape the, scrape the paint off that I had on there. And it dries up and I have to scrape it to get it back. And no matter how much you, scraping you do, it seems that you're not going to get back all or smooth surface on your palette, is what I'm saying. I like a smooth surface, so in case I want to use a palette knife, uh, I'll have a smooth surface to work from. I think I need a new rag. See how that's just giving them the look of a little mist, a little fog. foreground of course I'm going to cover up some of this here and if I do then I'm uh, going to make sure that I cover it up good what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make it look like a hill coming down here to the lake mix up some paint to use for my foreground grass. Where's that red at? I need a little red. It's red. I'll bring it forward a little. Don't ask me why it does. I just know it does from watching other people do videos. And uh, red uh, brings it forward a little bit. Now it's got to be a little bit different green than the other green. Got to watch your greens. You got to watch your values, tints.
looking for a particular brush that I think that I put it in to be clean. Now it's over here. Nope. Hold on just one second. 